Good day. I'm Sofia Sabal Pinefes from Grade 7, St. Gertrude, and I'm gonna show to you my first performance task in science in this first quarter. Activity number one. In this activity, allow to use the step in scientific method. First, what are the step in scientific method? These are the step in scientific method. First, identifying a problem. You may ask a question. Second, research the topic. Third, form a hypothesis. Fourth, test the hypothesis. Fifth, gather data. Sixth, analyze results. Seven, draw a conclusion. Eight, communicate result. Here are the materials needed in this activity. First, a table, four coins with different sizes, 10 peso, 5 peso, 1 peso, and 25 centavo. Medicinal dropper, a glass of water, a ball pen, and a record notebook. Here's a procedure to follow. First, lay the coins one by one on a table. Second, get the medicine dropper. Third, fill the medicine dropper with the water. Fourth, drop the water in each coin one at a time. Now let's count how many drops of water will occupy the space of the coin. Fifth, count the number of water drops needed to fill the coins. Stop dropping when this spills over the coin. Six, do the same procedure with the coin. Seven, record the data on the table. Provide four.
questions in this activity. Number one, what is the problem in this activity? The problem in this activity is how many drops of water will fill or occupy the sizes of the coin. Number two, formulate your hypothesis. The bigger size of the coin, the more water drops it can hold. Number three, analyze your result. Which coin holds the greatest number of water drops and why? The coin that holds the greatest number of drops of water is the 10 pesos because of the size of it. It is the biggest paired with other coins. It holds many drops of water because of the space and surface of the 10 peso coin. Number four, what factors do you think has something to do with the difference in the number of water drops a coin can hold? Maybe the factors are the sizes and the space of the coin. The influence of the side of the coin. What is your conclusion? I therefore conclude that the greatest number of the water drops it depend upon the sizes or the space of the coin. The biggest the size of the coin, the greatest the number of the drop of water will occupy the space of the surface of the coin. The size surface of the coin can affect the number of drops of water. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learn about it and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for my upcoming videos and my updates video. Keep safe, I love you all and God bless. Bye!